Alrighty race fans, welcome to another edition of the Workbench. Well today we're going to talk about body weights, in particular uh, the difference between say a paper dirt modified body and a typical Lexan race body. Um, I've taken a bit of a turn in our product uh, offerings. I think that these paper dirt modified bodies might be something y'all would be interested in, specifically if you're trying to race the absolute lightest body you could find. So here's a typical setup here. This happens to be a Super 7 chassis with the uh, Bob Goodwin <coughs> Mod Light body on it. Uh, this is a pretty good facsimile of the car that uh, Bob ran this past year uh, down here in Central Florida and won the uh, East Bay Raceway Points Championship with this thing. It was his first year out, so he did that as a as a as an amateur, or a, that may not be the right word, but uh, what are they, where, whatever they call the the new guy um, coming along. But uh, anyway, so uh, this thing is really pretty cool, believe it or not. You get some red wheels or blue wheels or whatever. It's just a bomb, and it's amazing, amazing how well a narrow chassis either like this, a Viper Tyco 440 can run with a paper body. So what's the difference? Well, let's take a typical Lexan race body. This thing right here is pretty typical, nothing too spectacular. It's ten thousandths, which is a typical weight, typical paint job, whatever, and then all the cars that you put them on have body posts, so we've got to add some aluminum body posts for weight, just like that. All right. Turn our little scale on, measure that critter. Now I know it's a little impossible to see from the, uh, the video, but that weighs 1.02 grams. So round it down, one gram, okay? One gram. Our average paper dirt modified body, 0.69 or 7 tenths, so 30% less weight than a Lexan body. And, you know, it's not something that you can easily, you know, customize. I suppose if some people came into the market to make these things, uh, you could get a lot of stuff the way you want, but it's, they're reasonably good looking. Uh, easy to put on. There's a couple little, little, very very small glue dots to go on the car. Stick that thing on, and away you go. So, most of these things I'm pricing at around twelve dollars or so. Um, you may ask, well, isn't that a little expensive? Not really, because most of this is small batch uh, production by Americans, and they've got to take the photograph of the real car and figure out how to get it into their template. They've got to print it, uh, get the uh, machine to cut it out, and then they got to glue it together. Uh, your Lexan body, generally a trimmed and pinned body of any decent type anymore. You might be able to get them for 20, but better ones are 25, and then um, they really don't last all that long, depending on the paint that they use and how many crashes that you do. So you've, you've got a, a higher expense going in and a smidge more weight. Where here, these are ready to run when you get them. Stick them on and away you go. So anyway, that's, uh, that's a quick rundown right now. Um, you all might want to check out, try one of these and see how well you like it. Um, it's a cheap way to get speed on your car and uh, you can really figure out how well your car runs without having to go to the expense and hassle of a Lexan body. Alright guys, um, any questions, you know my contact information. Thanks, see you.